my honey students of class 10 and my respected teachers welcome again to virtual class sundarga this is akshay kumar maji assistant teacher government high school visually khamam and it is our approach type poetry time in the communicative english my honey students in the last class in december we have already learnt this traditional folk poetry named ballad song which is written by the nightingale of india the prolific writer named sarojini naid today we will discuss some questions on this poem before it we will remember the summary what we have learnt in the last class so let us come to the slide and take participation so traditional folk poetry the village song it is an excellent traditional folk poetry of sarojini naidu who was popularly known as the nightingale of india who is called by the father of nation mahatma gandhi ji sarojini naidu was a prolific writer and in her lyrical qualities in the poem for for the lyrical qualities in her poem gandhi ji called her the bulbul of india or the nightingale of india this poem presents the voice of the mother who is pleading with her daughter to get married it is the responsibility of all the parents to marry their children at their marriageable age here the mother prepared the marriage for her daughter and the daughter who wishes run off to the forest and remain a child means the girl does not want to marry the mother of the girl tries her best to convince her so this poem is a conversation between the mother and the daughter here there are four stanzas out of them two stanzas are the voice of the girl and another two stanzas are the voice of the mother In the first stanza the mother tries her best to convince her daughter to who to the social life but she denies how the teacher uh, the mother asks four questions to convince her that the mother addresses her daughter as honey child out of love and affection the mother called her honey child this is the polite form and they in politely he questions <coughs> that to where she was going where the girl was going then she questions her if she would throw the jewelries throw away the jewelries into the blowing breeze and again she inquires if the girl would leave her mother who fed her her the golden pieces and if she would grieve her lover would come to marry her and in the second stanza the girl replies that the girl wishes to go to the forest realizing the hard reality of life the girl puts some stress on the scenic beauty of the forest the natural beauties of the forest <clears throat> in her opinion 
the wild forest the wild forest extremely enjoyable for the melodious songs of the kuko and the glittering of lotus and lilies moreover she invites her mother to listen to the fairy fox was calling her then in this third stanza the girl says <coughs> the mother convinces her daughter to enjoy the world pleasure like wedding songs dulavi and sandal scented leisure she also tells that all the preparation like bridal robes in the loom and <coughs> bridal cakes on the hearth for the occasion of wedding all are ready and prepared so she should stay at home and enjoy the happiness of worldly life but the daughter denies she says that mother the bridal songs and cradle songs the bridal songs and the cradle songs have sorrow in them <clears throat> you find that the happiness of for today may be changed into sorrow of tomorrow the happiness of the happiness of today may be changed into sorrow of tomorrow according to what the music of nature the music of nature the forest notes is far better than the worldly pleasure the uh, natural beauty is far better than the worldly beauty so she says to her mother that she cannot <coughs> resist the call of fairies in the forest she will definitely go to the forest and to enjoy its scenic beauty and will remain inside so this is the sum and substance of the poem now come to some multiple choice questions so uh, try to understand the questions and uh, take your participation my honey children the first question is sarojini naidu sarojini naidu become the first indian woman Sarojini Naidu became the first Indian woman to become the Dyas of Uttar Pradesh. Sarojini Naidu Uttar Pradesh no thame. Uttar Pradesh ra kya un podavi orang kar kori thile? Governor, Minister of Education, Chief Minister, and <coughs> Minister of Health and Governor. Family Welfare. Yes. Governor. Dar Governor. Yes. yes. Yes, governor. Very good. To become the governor of Uttar Pradesh. Very good. Then in second question, bridal sons and cradle sons. Bridal sons and cradle sons have cadences of dias. Bridal sons and cradle sons have cadences of pleasure or joy or sorrow or happiness. Yes. Soro. Yes. Soro. Bridal songs and cradle songs. Soro. I have candles to stop. Soro. Soro. This is Soro. what according to the girl. It is what according to the girl that the bridal songs and the cradle songs have candles to stop. Soro. Bridal songs and cradle songs are what sorry on top of it. Luchi kori rai chhi kano. Soro. That today the happiness is tomorrow's soro. Then in the third question, your bridal robes, your bridal robes are in the loom, silver, saffron, yes, silver. <coughs> This is the line of the uh, stanza. So uh, fill the blanks. Bridal robes are in the loom, silver and saffron, 
ग्लिटरिंग ग्लोइंग शाइनिंग और इल्यूमिनेटिंग यस बिजली का मैम ग्लोइंग इल्वो एंड सेफ्रोन ग्लोइंग वेरी गुड ग्लोइंग then the fourth question the poem billet song appeared the poem billet song appeared in the yes it means sarojini uh, naidu kara to likhit poem a billet song and the mulo lekha pustaka ti kon thila appeared in bengal threshold golden threshold funny child or none of these yes baroda The poem billet song appeared in the here honey child so honey ah bijli kaman bijli kaman score golden poem billet song appeared in honey child so honey child beta tar golden trash hole yes yes tar golden trash speak loudly sarojini naidu kara mulo lekha pustak Yes, very good. Golden threshold. Golden threshold. Golden threshold. The mula lekha pustaka. Golden threshold ro. The billet song is a part of this poem. Okay. Then in the fifth question, the mother addresses the girl affectionately. Mother addresses the girl affectionately. Affectionately, out of love, mother duty ko kono koi sambodhan korte le. Tiny child, little child, mini child, or honey child. This is the first word in the first stanza of the poem. The mother addresses her child. Yes. Honey child. Honey child. Yes. Honey child. Honey child. Yeah. <coughs> this is out of love and affection. The mother addresses the girl affectionately. Honey child. The honey child replies her mother. The honey child replies her mother that she is going to the उत्तर सामाजिक बंधन Do you cast your jewels and the bridge is blowing? Here the word cast. Cast means go, hand over, give up, or donate. Cast of the word throw it go. Go, hand over, give up, or donate. Yes, right answer. Throw. Round number is good. Yes, very good. Two. ठीक है दबा हम्म तो गोल्डन ग्रेन रेफर्स टू गोल्डन ग्रेन रेफर्स टू ग्रेन दैट लुक्स एज येलो एज गोल्ड ग्रेन जहाँ कि येलो एज गोल्ड बोले देखा है उसी डेलिशियस फूड टेस्टी खाते हो ग्रेन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ गोल्ड गोल्ड फॉर्म रे सोशियो गोल्ड लाइक ग्रेन Uh, which is answer golden grain refers to golden grain means delicious food yes delicious, delicious food. food what the mother fed what the mother fed us that is delicious food here golden grain refers to delicious food and then the, the honey child would grieve her lover the honey child would grieve her lover the lover ko uh, would be husband ko se grieve padle bhai Accepting his hand or refusing to marry him or wedding him or offending him, the only child would grieve her lover by yes, refusing to marry him. Marry him. The only child would grieve her lover. This is would grieve. It is a negative word. Uh, <coughs> grieve her lover by accepting his hand or refusing to marry him, wedding him, offending him. Third word, so <coughs> refusing to marry him. What is the right answer? Here the right answer is accepting his hand. Refusing to marry him. 
No, no, no. The actual answer is accept him. His hand. Hmm. You would grieve our lover <coughs> by accepting his hand. And the hand of the river, eh? Grieve for it. Vivao, pani grono, hand of the river. Okay. <coughs> then the wild forest, the, the wild forest described in the poem has been beautified by the wild forest beautified by. <laughs> World forest keeper is under the branch by branches of the champa birds, blowing up champa birds, glittering up lotus and lilies, both A and B. Yes, both A and B. <coughs> no, both A and B. No, no, no. Uh, the right answer is blowing up champa birds, blowing up. Champa birds, the champa buffs and birds blowing. This is the right answer, blowing up champa birds. <coughs> then the coil hunted river isles. The coil hunted river isles here hunted means hunted means killed, slaughtered, imprisoned, or visited frequently. Frequently. Yes. Visited frequently. Very good. Thank you, Vita. Sit down. Then, who are culling the girl? Why are you? She was vaccinated at the beauty of the nature. Today, who are culling the girl? Where is her mother, coil, hunted or her lover? Who are culling the girl? Where is her mother, coil, or her lover? Option A. Where is? Yes. See? Where is her culling her? Okay. Thank you. <coughs> then pony child pony child is going to the forest pony child is going to the forest in order to enjoy the scenic beauty of nature or to hear the sweet song of the coil or to enjoy the company of fairies or to gather the champa flowers pony child forest ko jao jiba ko chauthile keu jibai Enjoy the scenic beauty of nature. Natural beauty to enjoy Korea. Enjoy the scenic Kimba. beauty of nature. Yes. Enjoy yeah. the scenic beauty yeah. of nature. Scenic beauty of nature. Enjoy the 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 scenic beauty of nature. In the scenery of the beautiful nature, so that's why the correct answer is A. Enjoy the scenic beauty of nature. Yes, sit down. Then laughter of the sun indicates the laughter of the sun indicates pleasure, grief, sorrow, or hardship. Laughter pleasure. of the sun indicates A pleasure. Yes. Option yes. A. Laughter of the sun indicates pleasure. Pleasure. Sit down. Then the girl, the girl view, the girl views about pleasure and sorrow. She or the mother, pleasure and sorrow. So, ortho, I have to tell you that uh, pleasure and sorrow are two separate things. We do all that again. So, sorrow gives rise to pleasure, dukha, anand, khush, khushi ra karana hoyta hai, ba khushi ani diye. Two similar things, Dujya ka somana jin sa. And a two days pleasure is tomorrow's sorrow. D. Two days pleasure is tomorrow's sorrow. Yes, it's very good. D. Two days pleasure is tomorrow's sorrow. Okay. Then, as for the girl, as for the girl, the cradle sons refers to. Shiyotira Matonu Jai. Cradle sons. Refers to pleasure, delightness, happy, or sorrow. Sorrow. Yes, yes. sorrow. Very good. Yes. Cradle songs refers to sorrow. Poor voice was calling to the child to go to the forest. Poor voice was calling to the child to go to the forest. The voice of the coil, the sound of the streams, the sound of the leaves, 
the voice of the fairy folk the voice of the fairy folk yes very good <coughs> good in sir thank you bhalo uttar do chu bhai then what does the sandal scented leisure mean the sandal scented leisure means sweet smelling leisure hours pleasant scent of the sandalwood happy and enjoyable leisure hours the time of preparing sandal pets sandal scented leisure means here <coughs> leisure the leisure time before here we used sandal scented this is a simile sandal scented ये आर इन आर जेक्टिव फॉर्म इट इज ए सिमिली दे उपमा हैं याकू इट इज एन ऑर्नामेंटल वर्ड याकू अधिक सुंदर चिता कर्षक करिया पई हमें आर जेक्टिव गुडी को यूज कर ताऊ यस आंसर इज स्वीट स्मेलिंग लीजर आवर्स और प्लेजेंट सेंट ऑफ द सैंडलवुड हैप्पी एंड एंजॉयएबल लीजर आवर्स द टाइम ऑफ प्रिपेयरिंग सैंडल पे ऑप्शन सी ऑप्शन हैप्पी एंड एंजॉयएबल यस यस हैप्पी एंड एंजॉयएबल लीजर आवर्स लीजर आवर्स इज सी रियली लीजर आवर्स इज सी हैप्पी एंड एंजॉयएबल एज लीजर आवर इज एंजॉयएबल जेतु लीजर टाइम ता हम पाई उपभोग्य दैट्स व्हाई हियर वी यूज द सिमिली Can we use the simile? Simile that is upama. Hmm. The simile and the ornamental adjective that is sandal scented leisure. Okay. <coughs> Then question number nineteen. What does forest notes mean? Forest notes mean jungle songita or artha, roaring of the wild animals, twittering of the jungle birds, the music of nature. All the above. All of the above. Again, the try to understand the forest notes. Forest notes. Jungle songi tar artha. Roaring of the wild animals, twittering of the jungle birds, music of the nature. The right answer is music of the nature. Yes, option C. The music of the nature. Natural music re, or that the natural music re. प्रकृति शब्द प्राकृतिक शब्द रे जंगल भितर वाइल्ड एनिमल रो शब्द बार्डस मान शब्द क्रीम रब्द झरणार कुलुकुलु नाद ये समस्त शब्द गुड़िकार रही दि कैक्ट एनसर इज द म्यूजिक अफ नेचर जदि आम वाइल्ड एनिमल गुटरी अफ दि जंगल गढ़िया कि पार्टिकुला गोटे निर्दिष्ट गोटे पार्ट अल्प किसी अंश को आम टच कले बट म्यूजिक अफ नेचर मीनस अल थिंग्स आर इन सैड ओके दैट्स व्हाई द करेक्ट आंसर इज म्यूजिक ऑफ द नेचर देन क्वेश्चन नंबर 20 बोथ द ब्राइडल सॉन्ग्स एंड द क्रेडल सॉन्ग्स बोथ द ब्राइडल सॉन्ग्स एंड द क्रेडल सॉन्ग्स आर यस सैड सॉन्ग्स मैरिज सॉन्ग्स फक सॉन्ग्स पैट्रियोटिक सॉन्ग्स बोथ द ब्राइडल सॉन्ग्स एंड द क्रेडल सॉन्ग्स आर सैड सॉन्ग्स दुखद संगीत मैरिज सॉन्ग्स वैवाहिक संगीत फक सॉन्ग्स सुपरस्टिशन सिंपल जय Simplicity, all these things are based on the folk songs. Okay, <coughs> this is the the traditional <coughs> custom that is folk song. We just orally, we just orally talk this type of songs. Huh? So bridal songs and cradle songs are the folk songs. Then the mother in the poem, the village song, tells her child, "Ma, you have to question this. That the world is full of death. Full of pleasure, 
Lizar. Yes, very good. Lizar. The world is full of Lizar. 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 Yes. Lizar. Then twenty two. Question number twenty two. The flowers that they glisten. The flowers that glisten in the poem Billet Sons. Which flowers are glisten? Rose and lotus. Lotus and lily. Lilies and rose. Rose and jasmine. Lotus yes. and lilies. Yes, very good. Lotus and lilies. And then the mother in the poem addresses the child as "Honey child." The mother addresses out of love and affection. Out of love and affection, the mother addresses a child as a "Honey child." Since the name of the child is "Honey," the child loves honey. The child is sweet to the mother. Or the mother feeds the child on honey. Yes, right answer. Ah, Jyoti ko honey child sambodhano korte le. Karon ho Jyoti ro na honey thila, ba Jyoti honey ko pasand kare, imba child Jyoti ma pa kare sarboda snehi. The child is sweet to the mother. Yes, yes. The child, the child is sweet. sweet to the mother. Each and every child, each and every child are sweet to the to their parents. Okay, that's why out of love and affection, all sir, only child. Then the mother asks questions to her daughter. In the first stanza, in the first stanza, the mother asks four questions to her daughter. <coughs> polite, very politely, questions uh, to convince her. <coughs> Here the mother asks questions to her daughter. I would question would be good for that. Let to know the answer. Uttar would be good. Any apply? Getting angry with her daughter. The wife or Ajay would try to tell her. Ragi could be good for that. Let he may not to leave her and to marry her bridegroom. Thank you. No, sorry, just sorry, no, just ba. Even bridegroom, thank you. Borrow you. हजबैंड को मैरिज करबा किबा टू एनकरेज आर नॉट टू मे विवाह न करिया पई न को एनकरेज करेबा यस यस मदर आस्क क्वेश्चन मा जीव को काहे के प्रश्न उडी गोर तले चेष्टा करबा चेष्टा करबा नो द आंसर्स उत्तर गुडी को जानिया पई ड्यूटी रु उत्तर गुडी को जानिया पई प्रश्न गोर तले किबा ता को रागी करी प्रश्न गोर तले ब्राइडल Robes. The bridal robes are described. Bridal robes in the loom described that the yellow and blue color ki par chala yellow and blue, green and white, silver and saffron glowing, silver and red. Yes, yes. See, silver and saffron glowing. Then in the poem Billet Sun, the mother says that. The bridal cakes are on the desk. Stove, oven, hearth, fire. Yes, the bridal cakes are yes on the hearth. Then the wind of death. Very important question it is. The wind of the death said tomorrow. The wind of death tomorrow in the poem Billet Song means <coughs> the fear and death, the cause of death, the prediction of death. The sorrow and the suffering. Yes, the wind of death tomorrow. The pleasure of the sun. The wind of death tomorrow. The pleasure of the sun. The wind of death tomorrow. Tomorrow's happiness is today's happiness is tomorrow's sorrow. Option A. Option D. Yes, option D. It is sorrow and suffering. The wind of That's tomorrow means sorrow and uh, suffering. Very good. Sit down. Then question number twenty-eight. <coughs> the cradle sons are the sons of death, birth, childhood death, marriage, 
और ओल्ड एज क्रेडिट संग्स क्यों समय रे क्यों समय रे संगीत को क्रेडिट संग्स वाली करी कोई जाए फॉर्थ चाइल्डहुड डेज मैरिज और ओल्ड एज क्रेडिट संग्स आप दिस संग्स आप क्रेडिट संग्स दिलुला बीज दिलुला बीज आप दिस संग्स आप टू विच टाइम लोरीज मदर्स लोरी मदर्स लोरी दैट इज क्रेडिट संग्स Yes, B. B. Childhood days. Total sixth man on kara. And then a man kara lorry. That is the cradle songs. That is the lula beach. Then who was popularly known as the Nightingale of India? Who was popularly known as the Nightingale of India? Sarojini Naidu. Yes, Sarojini Naidu. Sarojini Naidu. Who Nightingale? इंडिया बोले किए कही महात्मा गांधी जी तर पोएम सरोजिनी नायडू पोएम लिरिकल क्वालिटीज लिरिकल क्वालिटीज क्वालिटीज को अनुध्यान करी महात्मा गांधी जी तुम बुलबुल अफ इंडिया नाइट एंगल अफ इंडिया बोले कही एंड आफ्टर दैट ही वाज नोन एज द नाइट एंगल अफ इंडिया गांधी जी ये कथा कही उपाधि डाकु Okay, <clears throat> then the poem "Billet Sang" is an excellent death. The poem "Billet Sang" is an excellent death. Traditional folk poem, modern folk poem, time for children or religious poem. Again, again. Is please tell again. Option C. Option C. सारा ऑप्शन सी ऑप्शन सी ऑप्शन सी नो 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 हाइम फॉर इन योर पोएम दी ऑल थिंग्स ब्राइट एंड ब्यूटीफुल ऑल थिंग्स ब्राइट एंड ब्यूटीफुल दैट इज हाइम फॉर द चिल्ड्रन दी सॉलिटरी रिपोर्ट इज ए लिरिक नल फॉर पोएम ऑप्शन ए ऑप्शन ए मन रखाइमिकल then <coughs> come to a comprehension okay the louder of the sun today the louder of the sun today the wind of death tomorrow explain it it is a comprehension five marks <coughs> subjective part here the answer is please try to note down the answer <coughs> the louder of the sun today Why the louder of the sun today is the wind of death tomorrow? Because the daughter does not want to marry. Try to write down the answers. Lucky ba, after you go lucky ba, you just take a look. Finally, lucky ba, you just take a look. The daughter does not want to marry, so she tells her mother that the bridal songs and the cradle songs have pleasure, but they are short-lived. The bridal songs and the cradle songs have a pleasure, but they are short-lived. They are ephemeral. <coughs> today's sun, today's sun shines brightly with joy, but it will get dark after that. So he rightly replies that today's happiness is going to die soon. The material beauty never lasts. The material beauty never lasts forever. It is the beauty of nature which is eternal. Okay. <coughs> Then some homeworks. <coughs> These are the important questions which may be come in the essay to examination. So <coughs> write down these questions and uh, try to answer. First one is. What are the beautiful sights of the forest mentioned in the poem Bellatsan? 
what are the beautiful sights of forest mentioned in the poem billet song question number 2 how does the mother arrange the marriage for her daughter how does the mother arrange the marriage for her daughter that's question number 3 how is the world full of happiness according to the mother how is the world full of happiness according to the mother okay <coughs> so make your hand speed and uh, <coughs> throw down these questions is a very important for your competitive to thank you my honi students this is an important class that we have discussed the probable questions for your submitted to examination i think it will be more precious so i appeal again my honi students read the poem again and again go through all the question answers and make consultancy with your teacher then prepare yourself very good for the upcoming examination wish you all the best and we'll meet in the next class